So let's start to look how we can use get elements and event for modes. So what we have here is for example these slices here. But if I click on one, you can see it will open up my website and it will also give some extra details here in the console log. We're going to explore how we can extract these details and create a clickable slice. So let's start to look how to use to get elements at event for mode in Charge.js 4. So we have here our border template. To get this border template, make sure you go to charge.js3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Of course, if you want to get the source code, check out my Patreon page. And if you've got a question, put them on Discord as well. All these links you can find in the description box. So I'm going to target a very specific item here, which is the polar area chart. Let's save that one, refresh, there we are. Let's remove these grid lines here, we don't need those at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an on click. When we click a certain slice, we want to do something specific. So what I'm going to do here is create the on click or use the on click option here. And this is built in in Chart.js, so we can just use that. Then we have the event, and then we're going to say here, hey, this is basically a callback functionality. What I want to do here, first of all, is just to grab the event, so we can get here the coordinates. So the moment I do this and I open up my tab, if I click anywhere, you can see we're getting the coordinates of the X and Y where we specifically click. So that's quite useful already if ever you need. However, what I want to do is I want to click on a slice, and at that very moment, I want to do something specific with it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say here constant points equals, and then we're going to get here the my chart, basically the chart object. In this case, my chart object is called my chart. So my chart, and then we say here dot get element or elements at event for mode. And then what we want to do is here for every event. I want to get it, I want to get the uh, element or basically the slice, the arc, which is the nearest to the click. So once we did that, we can put in here uh, another comma and then we can say here, do we want to intersect? That is true. And the reason why is we want to make sure that when we are in here, then it should give us the information. But if we're outside, we're not intersecting. So basically, the moment we see the tooltip, that's considered an intersect or intersection where we cross the mouse on the cursor from the cursor on the slice itself. So we said this is true. Then we put this on true as well. That's part of it to make sure it all works. So then what I want to do here is let's say console log and just get the points. Save that. Refresh. So then if I click here, we get two items. We get one of the standard click, but here we get the information of the arc and more specifically all the details related to that as well. So what I want to do now is just get these arcs, get the ID number. You will see here somewhere the data set index. And we also see here the data point index and it's this one here. So let's try it by putting in something else here. So what I'm going to do, say if statement, if points has a length. In that case, what I want to do is I want to say constant first point Basically, I'm just going to get one of these points here. And then we're going to say your points, I guess. I'm not sure it is really necessary to do this one, I guess, but we're just making an array. Well, it is probably a part of it because it is an array. So that makes sense, I guess. Then what I want to do here is, let's say your console log, get the first point. Let's see if we get something. If I click, there we are. Let me just remove these and this, save. So when I click, it will click and give us the element data. However, if I click outside, I'm not intersecting as I said earlier. In that case, it doesn't show any data. So what I want to do here now is, well, let's put in the data set uh, index. So we're going to say here constant. And then we can say here uh, data set equals what exactly? Let's look at it. It would be basically here the first point data set index. So I can say here like that. That will be equal to this. And then another one constant data point. And the data point would be the index of the individual slice, which is basically the index here. I'm going to just copy this, put it in there and say index. If I save this and now I'll do a console log and select 
the data point or we could even get the label out of it i'll show you that as well so once we refresh this i click here we can see here we're getting a lot of details here uh, because of the console log remove that but now you can see here we're getting from every slice the index number what i want to do for example if i click here instead of seeing a number i want to see here sunday saturday or any other label so to do that what i'm going to say here is uh I guess we can say a console log and then what I want to do here I want to go from back to my chart object and then in the chart object I'm going to say here the data and then we can say here the labels and I can say here the index number of the labels that is this one here so the labels index number will be based on the data point put that in there save refresh click now you can see Monday Tuesday and every other date so we could, for example, put even a link in here to make it clickable. We can say window.open, and then we can put in here our website, HTTP, and then we say www.chartjs3.com, and if I save that, refresh, now it will always give one single website. So if I click on this, as you can see here, it will always give us chartjs3. So we could change this by making it an array, and then you could do different, basically, if you have six or seven labels, six or seven links, all different ones that would give us the option and that could be done as well.